with us now with uh, senior legal journalist uh, Karen Moore to talk about uh, what exactly is going to be investigated by whom and why. Karen, a very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. So um, let's start with the three main claims against the judge president of the Western Cape that are to be investigated. Just refresh our minds on what they are. Well, essentially what happened was that, you know, in a very highly publicized manner earlier this year, we saw uh, a complaint by Judge, Deputy Judge President Patricia Goliath surfacing in the media in which it emerged that she alleged, amongst other things, that uh, a junior judge had been, uh, a more junior judge, had been assaulted by Judge John Clope, um in his chambers. It subsequently emerged during her evidence um, and, and various uh, submissions that were made, including by other judges in a different complaint against Judge Mushtaq Parker, the judge in question who is himself now facing impeachment, that the apparent cause of this incident had been Lopez's unhappiness over Parker allegedly inappropriately tugging on the robe of his wife, Judge Gayat uh, Salih Lope, um, resulting in him, according to what Parker had told a number of other judges who all gave affidavits, uh, coming into Judge Parker's chambers, pushing his fist against his chest, causing him to fall on the floor and injure his back, um, and also saying uh, things, you know, along the lines of, um, Parker having certain inappropriate uh, intentions with his wife. Um, subsequent, of course, to that, we saw um, sort of denials coming out from Parker a year after the fact, saying that potentially he had misremembered misre um, this incident, which of course led to those other judges then laying a complaint against him. Now, the Mukwing saying that, you know, this allegation of assault was very serious um, because obviously this was a potential act of violence within the sanctuary of everything that is supposed to, um, you know, sort of condemn that kind of behavior, i.e. a court of law, but also that there was a more disturbing inference that possibly uh, Lope may have been involved in some form of cover-up, um, which is, of course, the allegation that Mushtaq Parker is also facing in a separate inquiry. A separate issue, of course, is this allegation that during a very heated October 2019 altercation between Lope and Judge Goliath, he referred to her um, using uh, swear words, um, describing her in a very adverse manner and calling her a piece of rubbish. Um, subsequent to her providing the JSC with actual tape recordings of this conversation, he had initially denied these comments. Later, when confronted with the recordings, he did not persist in that denial, um, but said that he was very angry. You know, if he had said those things, he was extremely angry. Of course, this was following an incident where he accused Goliath of meddling uh, with his domestic situation, uh, where Goliath said he had she had gone to his house to assist his wife after she'd injured herself or had been injured, Plope, of course, denying any suggestion that he was responsible for that injury. The other allegation is really in terms of abuse of his power, in terms of demeaning um, Goliath's functioning as the deputy judge president of so that court. Let me court. just stop you right there, Karen. We'll get to that um, undermining of uh, deputy judge president Goliath's uh, duties and the functioning of uh, the Western Cape High Court in general. But I just want to talk about the assaults, the alleged assaults. The uh, chief judge Justice is saying that there could be untruths deliberately told by the judges involved. What was that in relation to? Because as you mentioned, at first when these allegations around the alleged assault of Mushtaq Parker, Judge Mushtaq Parker came out, they were mired in this backstory of what seemed to be a relationship between the deputy judge, President Goliath, the judge president and his wife. I mean, it is the whole matter is actually quite cringeworthy, considering that you know the courts of law of this country are sanctioned with huge levels of, um, given huge levels of responsibility in terms of determining you know very complex civil and criminal matters. But essentially, um, the allegation was that Clope uh, flew into a rage because he believed that 
you know, to put it colloquially, Judge Parker had hit on his wife um, and that he was making advances on uh, against her. Um, that subsequently led to this altercation, which Parker then reported to a number of other judges and also, um, interestingly enough, deposed to an affidavit, um, which he then signed and which a fellow judge kept an unsigned uh, copy of. Parker, of course, taking that signed affidavit um, away from the judge in question. So, Mohueng really averring to the fact that um, someone, somewhere along the line, someone is, li- someone is lying. So either Judge Mushtaq Parker has for a year sustained a complete untruth about an altercation that never happened, or this altercation did occur and Judge Klope and Judge Parker are somehow implicated in attempting to cover it up, so Karen, which is a very also, serious issue. There's also the issue of a secret recording in which uh, the alleged assault uh, between Judge Klopp and Judge Goliath also took place. Do we, what do we know about this uh, conversation, this recording? Where does it originate? Who may have recorded it? Well, we understand from the report that was the the findings that were reported by uh, re- handed over by Judge Mohueng that in fact it was Judge Goliath that report uh, that recorded that conversation. Um, it did not appear that Judge Slope in fact knew that he was being recorded, but that recording then subsequently subsequently made it way its way into this um, hearing. Um, interestingly enough, Judge Slope of course had made certain allegations of racism against Judge Goliath, but certainly no. No apparent evidence of that, apart from uh, Judge Schlope confronting her and asking her or suggesting that she had told his wife to ju- to drop his surname from her own surname. But that co- that recording will obviously be a very pivotal piece of evidence because it proves um, quite categorically that this abusive language was used. Ju- uh, Chief Justice Mokweng, in his decision, saying that the kind of language used by uh, Schlope in reference to Goliath was extremely problematic in a country um, where we have the levels of gender violence and misogynism that we have, and that if this was indeed proven to be what he had said, um, it would be extremely serious and possibly impeachable conduct. Uh, Just a quick final question, uh, very briefly, um, Karen. There have been allegations from various quarters about racism within the judiciary in the Western Cape. Was some of that ever explored and did it form part of the counter complaints made by Judge Schlopper? And what happens to those allegations? Um, Judge Lope has continually, since about 2004, made a number of very serious allegations of, of racism within the Western Cape judiciary. Um, in his uh, 2008 misconduct uh, you know, counter complaint against the Constitutional Court, which is itself underway. This is the Goliath matters, the second gross misconduct complaint. He essentially suggested that racism was at the heart of his difficulties with the Constitutional Court. He made similar averments in the Goliath matter, essentially said that she had made false allegations in order to ensure his public lynching. Um, it appears that Judge M- Chief Justice Mukwege does not um, have regarded these issues to have been um, proven to degree that they would form part of his decision making, but no doubt they will form part of the eventual um, tribunal hearing when and if it gets underway, um, possibly later this year, possibly next year. Karen, thank you so much for your time. Karen Moore is a senior uh, legal journalist. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back shortly. Do stay with us.